Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Divine Journey. My name is Wolfert and I got our electro team. So, last time we did a bunch of stuff to do with... Where to I put it? With uh, Ender Pearls and Runic Dungeons. I have not explored any further into that Runic Dungeon. We will be doing that again shortly. Yeah, still here. Haven't put a door up or anything. Still got crabs running around all over the base. But we're going to do a bunch of quests today. Number one is going to be... We need to get... Oh, we need to collect these two quests. So I also, in the nether, I killed a wither skeleton. Got a skull. Our cleaver kind of has beheading, so it happens. We'll take the enderman, or the endurium. Fun. Also, ender pearls are expensive. Not really. They're just annoying. You actually have to make them in the induction smelter now. Really annoying. Alright, so, everything we're going to be doing today involves this backpack. Look at all the stuff. <laughs> so, we have all this. We're just missing the Christmas lights now. All we are missing to make a QED is those Christmas lights. Now, let's uh, put that trophy in there. Just toss you in there. All right, so we've got some stuff to make. We're gonna be making a vibrant capacitor bank before we go off and make or go into Isica to see if we can find this guy to trade with. I don't know what we're going to be doing there. But in order to do this, we got to go down the capacitor chain again. Automation. What did I get? Oh, Vibrant Alloy. I have another Crescent Hammer. Great. Just what I need. Alright, so. Basic energy storage. Better energy storage. Capacitor banks. We actually have enough stuff here to make a whole bunch of them. And I gotta go down the chains. So let's see. Pull it up in here. Vibrant capacitor bank. So the easiest things we can make are these uh, crystals and this vibrant alloy block. We have all the stuff to make that. So vibrant alloy block, 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 block. There's our four vibrant crystals. Okay. That part's done. Now, we need to make... I'm trying to remember exactly how many of these capacitors we need. We need capacitors for this one. We need capacitors for this one. Let's start all the way down here at the bottom. Leadstone energy cell frame. Everything we need to make that. Except we gotta make a block. I think these are all supposed to be blocks. So that's four of them? And I also went and I made this gear cast. Helps speed up making these gears. This is... What? Four? Five? Eight? Thirty-two in there? That'll be another of those gears. And I have a lot of Electrum, because we're going to end up needing a lot of Electrum stuff. Yeah, four of those. Stuff's probably taking forever. Nope, it's actually going pretty well. Where's my stuff at? Oh, also I put Silk Touch on my pick. Figured it would come in handy. And it actually has. We've gotten a lot of stuff from uh, from the nether thanks to Silk Touch. Okay. So, we have one of these. We need all four of these. Uh, 
Uh, no, not a hardened. Let's an energy cell. We need three of these guys, which takes an electrum gear. It's three each. That's a lot of electrum gears. I gotta do math. Okay, yeah, the math. Got 12 of these guys. Need them for... Conductance coils? Yeah. 12 of those guys. Making the gears behind us. That'll give us three of these already. So let's see. Use for this. Here we go. Three more of those. And... I don't know why it does that. Four leadstone energy cells. Okay, so. Base capacitor banks. We have the invar. We need the basic capacitors. And these I know we gotta make a lot of. I don't think I need that many of them. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Two. That's absolutely not what I wanted to do. So two. Four. Sixteen. And... I've lost count here. <laughs> okay, so it is 32 of these. We're actually going to use one gold ore berry to do the last one. It's a lot of capacitors going into this. Shivas. Can't stack these. But I can stack these. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that'll allow us to make this, which dark steel block. And two of those. These guys. I do need eight of those. Two of those. Zoctatic. Two of those. And... Did I miss something? Right. I'll put these back in here. Boom! Vibrant capacitor bank. And we should get the quest for both of these. So we get a quick deposit upgrade. And tenulorium ingots. Can't complain about that. Now, there's another one we're going to try to do. Hopefully it shouldn't take us too long. If I can stop clicking the wrong things. Gadgets. Uh, no. Automation. Solarification. We need eight solarium. I went out and I got a whole ton of soul sand. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Have to get out of my freaking base. There's a bunch of them around. There we go. Some pulverized gold in here. Get you cooked up. And what else do we get? One of these guys, a wrench, seared faucet can go back out there. I 
Hi. You can't get me through the door. We'll just put it there. That'll get that started. Okay, so we've got the solarium. That means we can make... Is it the soul binder? Which is something like this. These are like all kinds of weird places. I know that goes at the top. How the hell do you make this thing? <laughs> That's a slice and spice. So we got this. Gives us some iron horse armor. Uh, I thought I tried that. There we go. Soul binder. Awesome. Now I just need some dark steel and we can make the slice and splice. Uh, actually... Four? No, we need five. And two steaks. Steaks, where are ya? Perfect! So for this we need... A dark axe... And dark shears. And we can make some ball of mouse. He's slicing splice. Which we have lots of zombie heads. They're easy to get. Not the soulbinder. Do that. And we do that. Axe on one side and the shears on the other. Boom! Slice and splice. Now, the other thing I want to learn how to make. I don't think I've ever made before our soul vials. How do you make these? Fused quartz and solarium. That's pretty cheap and I have lots of quartz, so... Doesn't look like I have a lot, but I also have, like, all that, and all that, and all that. I love silk touch. I think I'll put this in here. Nope. I can only go in here. That's making that stuff. I'll do that stuff later. Off camera. Uh toss you in there. You, you. Sulfur. Ball moss. You had another item to put in here. More food, some glass, that'll go upstairs, had to go make some lava, uh, machines, don't really have a place for them, oh, and we have some manicio. Now we'll just toss those in there for now. Two, three. So we have that. Have that, and we have those. We're coming back to this, I swear. Uh, I just gotta clean stuff out of inventory, and then we can go. Did you finish already? Nice! Okay, so, time to go into Isaac. We're looking for... Are you following me? Or what? Do you really want to go into Isaka? We're looking for the Red Workshop Merchant. Seriously? That's a bit cheap. I forgot to make a structure in there. Give us a safe spawn at least. 
Let me see if I can get our stuff back. Should probably take a sword. So, I'm gonna admit, I had to cheat to get my stuff back. I'm not proud of doing it, but it was very, it was a very broken situation. I could not come through the portal. Because as soon as I spawned on this side, I died. These things just sat there on the portal and one shot me as soon as I come out of it. So there is absolutely no way for me to come in here and get my stuff back. So, yeah. All I did was I just switched it to peaceful, came in, and switched it back to normal and got my stuff. I hate cheating. I hate doing that. If they weren't here, I never would have had to. Alright, so, we gotta find this red workshop merchant. But we also kind of want to explore Isaga a little. Let's come fly up a bit. Use our glider to take a look around. Because I've never seen Isaga really. Hi. Leave me alone, please. Oh, hey, structures. <laughs> of course there's these guys in here. I bet that's the merchant we need to talk to. Either that or we're about to die. Oh, we got some guys in here. Oh my gosh, this UI. Decorative frosted chest. There's some peppermints. Hello, merchant. Four snowflakes. How do I get Christmas lights? You need snowflakes. Find it under an underground in Isaac. Get to the end and break the frosted chests. They drop snowflakes. I should just quit now. <laughs> we get ourselves into so many rabbit holes. Okay, now I've got to find a dungeon. I can't remember where this place is at, so I'm going to mark it. Merchant. Yeah, now we got to find a dungeon. Which I think it means we have to find a cave underground. Can I collect ice here? I can collect ice. Okay. This place has just redeemed itself. That is a lot of ice that I probably will never need. Okay. Go away. You screwed me over once. We're gonna go fly off this way. Hello? Hi, friends! Do you take snowflakes too? You do. Luckily, it's just one snowflake for the Christmas lights. It's cold inside. It's cold everywhere. That's a Thumbcraft node. And those are snowmen. I'm pretty sure they're gonna attack me. How do I find a dungeon in Isaac? I have no idea. D hmm. I'm just gonna kinda hope that one just I just kinda stumble across an entrance. 
or we're just gonna go back and deal with soul vials for a minute because I have an idea for soul vials and it kind of revolves around having lots of solarium and quartz to make them the heck was that I'm not pressing anything except forward go <laughs> okay Iska is probably a no-go for a little while. Oh my gosh, those haystrums. Those things just annihilated me. Couldn't... Bye. Oh, it's raining outside, that's why he's in here. Put an enderman in my wall, I think. Oh no, he's outside. I think it's three? No, four. So that'll give us nine. That'll give us enough for three soul vials. Also, I swapped this this guy out for the vibrant, and we are now carrying the small one around. So we can recharge our jetpack and go. Never once in a while I'll come pop it down here to charge it up. I wonder if I can just put it in the other capacitor bank. I can. <laughs> that is great. Okay. I think I figured out how we're going to do that. Still running off charcoal power up here. Wait. Make some of this. Got the soul sand. Or the solarium. Make some soul vials, because I have some people I want to I want to test. So I think they stack up to 16. I think. But once you put something in them, they don't stack anymore. Let's test on these crabs down here. Ha! I caught him! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Got him? Hey, where are my crabs? Always good to catch a variety of people. Hi! Welcome to the party. So I said, did that pressure plate reset or not? Uh, I actually didn't even get to test the one I wanted to. I'll probably let the Enderman out. I'm not really worried about him. Bye. Don't know where you teleported to, but just leave me alone, please. Yeah, I want to test it on one of these guys out here. I think... I need to sleep. There are monsters nearby. Of course there are monsters nearby. There's always monsters. I want to test it on the Divine RPG. There's... There's none out. Oh, there we go. There's some crabs. Looks like some king crabs over here. I'll try it on these guys. I need to get my glider back out. I can catch them! Okay, that's awesome. That means I can set up farms for these guys. What if I catch that zombie miner? Hey dude! Surprise! Okay, Enderman, you can... go play outside. 
Alright, so... That does confirm my idea. That we can catch anything with these. I have a feeling these things will actually work. Really, phone? I have a feeling these things will work better than... These guys, the safari nets. Which, I could use one of these to make a reusable safari net if I had, hadn't caught people in them. And I don't have one that doesn't have somebody in it. Oh well. Well, that's it for this time, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button below. If not, let me know what you don't like in the comments. I have a feeling that next time we will be hunting for a dungeon in Isika. Because I really want to get this QED set up. I really want to get to more stuff. I need to make more Enderium, which I think means I need to get more Cinnabar, which means a whole lot of stuff. I got a lot of work to do. So, that's going to be it for this time, guys. I will see you guys next time. How you doing over here? I agree.